Hi there guys, Matt here, hope you're all well, and uh, just a small update video really for you today, and that is, uh, you may be aware, or you may not be aware, that the DirectX 10 Scenery Fixer has been removed from the Flight Sim Store catalogue. Now, that's really unexpected, and I spoke with the guy that developed it, Steve, and he gave me the reason why. I don't want to air that publicly because it's not my place to do that, but it's a shame that he has uh, taken it down because it's an extremely useful tool. I didn't get a chance to update it to version 2.3, apparently there is a version 2.3 lurking around out there somewhere, but I thought because of the last video's popularity, there's a lot of people in the comments that are asking me more recently, is this your same settings? And without uh, going into too much detail, it kind of is and it also kind of isn't. So. What I want to do really quickly today is just show you my settings with this new version. The majority of things are the stock settings. There are very minimal changes to it in its default state, which for me works fantastically well. So if you have version 2.2, then this will work for you. If you have version 2.3, it might work for you as well. I will leave the link to my FSX config, my current FSX config in the video description below. And then if you want to use that, you are completely more than welcome to. And I guess, I don't know, maybe show Steve some support. And maybe he'll put it back up for sale on the Flight Sim Store. Who knows? So, from here you can load the profile if you want. I'll leave the link to the profile. Uh, mine is called balance.dfp. You can use it if you wish. And the uh, so when you, when you first load it up, you can just press uh, install the libraries as you would normally. Make sure it's in DX10 mode. Set the anti-aliasing to four times. And this should all be backed up in NVIDIA Inspector as well. I'll show you the settings in NVIDIA Inspector in a, in a short while. I'm not going to go through all of the options because if you load my profile, which you can do here, I'll leave the link for it below, then you'll have all the settings anyway, so there you go. One thing I do want to show you though is NVIDIA Inspector, so let me just grab that. Okay, so this is my NVIDIA Inspector profile. You can pretty much just pause that right now and copy it straight across, so there's no point in me reading everything out to you. Remember, you need to make sure that this and this is the same as what is set in the uh, DirectX 10 fixer. So this is 4, this is 4, and that's also 4 here, okay? Uh, that's really about it as far as this video goes. I just wanted to give you a quick update. All my configs will be below and everything else that you need. So if you have any questions, then just stick it in the comments or Facebook message me or Twitter message or whatever you want to do. You know the drill. We've been through it before. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this remotely useful. And if you didn't, then I'm sorry. Until next time, take care and see you later.